All right, Team Affinity Chapter 2 is here. We're going to go ahead and get started right here, right now. The first thing that we're going to be doing is exchanges. And this time around in this video, I'm going to be showing you the exchanges just because it just makes more sense, right? AL East, one players, two players, three players, and four. Don't doesn't seem like we need a whole lot here. Let's see if I have my 70 any 74s that I normally have. I always want 74s or 73s for these exchanges. So we're gonna go on and go ahead and see if I have a lot of any of them so we can do this fairly quickly. Hey, well, we got 330 72s. That that might be a uh that might be enough. We already have them, we already have them. So boom, exchange one done. Next exchange, here we go. Let's go ahead and get this one done as well. We still have 179 of those. So let's go ahead and get that one done. And then exchange number two. Let's get that one done as well. And we should be close to being done with this one. 78, took 76, so definitely can't use that one again. But that's okay, because this one's fairly simple. We should be able to use one of our 74s uh, if we have any more any of them. So we have eight right here, five right here should be a good, eight right here, um, and eight right here, and finally six right here. Done. So there you have it. AL East, we got that one in the bag. So let's just go open that pack so we can get that player real quick. AL East, Andrew Miller, Mike Napoli, Sean Green. I feel like Miller is gonna be the best choice there for missions because pitchers, we definitely wanna probably focus on pitcher missions. We'll definitely check that in a second and see if we made the right choice why we do the rest of these. So next player exchanges, NL East. We're gonna go ahead and check those 74s. We definitely got some, we got Paul Blackburn. We still got buy orders for him. So hopefully those go through. Some of these we might, ooh, well, we got a bunch of Kyle Swarbers, so that will get the job done here. So Kyle Swarber is gonna be the man for the NL East. So we'll just go ahead and keep on exchanging him. 155 to like 81 right there so once again it's going to go back to where we have to make sure that we have enough of the other players in order to finish it because we won't be able to finish it quite right oh just enough right there and then we should be able to finish it with some of the other guys that we have i don't like to ha put in silvers unless i absolutely have to so we're not going to do that unless we absolutely have to as we have a bunch of enough 74s to get this done we just don't have enough of one 74 to get it done but we got a bunch of other cards that's why i don't sell anything that's why we literally keep everything we still have 13 kyle swarbers though so that's definitely going to help um we have a bunch of another card though so it makes it go by a little faster we just need a few more right there to get the job done there it is there we go nl east and AL Central. Here we go. We're going to get to all the other cards later on in this grind, but we definitely got, well, we only got 24 of Matt Manning so far. Eight of him. This one might take a little bit longer because I don't see any high numbers, unfortunately. 10. Decent numbers. It's not nothing crazy. Nine. Oh, here we go. 60. So Gavin Williams could definitely help us out a little bit to get through this division. So AL Central, 27. Not enough, though. Definitely not enough. We got four. And uh, that'll help. Um, Any other ones have a lot. One has not nine. Okay, I think I might go to Silvers here just to make this a little faster. Six. Next up, number two. We should have enough. Wow, we got, okay, might as well. 500 of them. Get, get, get rid of them. We had them like all year. Let's just get rid of them at this point, right? Let's just get rid of them if we had them. Like, yeah, we have way too many of them. We don't need that that many anyway. Imagine he gets boosted though. That'd be kind of nice. But there you go. AL Central done. NL Central. Here we go. Shouldn't take us too long to get this done, but I'd rather just show you guys us doing it. Normally I just skip through this part, but I think it's better that I at least show you at least some of it as I'm going through it. So we have 724. That gives a big bump. Um, five. Rule of thumb, six or higher, or five or higher, and I'll do it. Otherwise, skip it. Five, four. Uh, do we have any more? Ooh, 11. A lot, of, a lot of buy orders are going through, which is kind of nice. 
that's gonna help us out a little bit people are buying packs and stuff so that is kind of nice for us at least there we go 150 so this one's gonna be taking i might get some silvers involved into this one as well just because i think it'll be a little bit faster if we do um so let's get some silvers involved Three thousand exchange points is definitely making this go a little bit faster especially if you have a bunch of them like seven. Oh, one more well not gonna waste you on that okay two more there we go all right next one player exchanges number two get those silvers in there and we should have a couple right here three six appreciate the follow four and eight oh i'm already done never mind we're already there all right so four of the six already at 37 percent. this should be a really easy uh team affinity i feel like I feel like this one's gonna be a breeze so far it looks like it's going to be let's see what we got here though um we have 16 of these that's gonna help and now we're going we're going to silvers we're going to silvers i didn't prepare enough for this i prepared for it but i'm still waiting for buy orders to go through i don't got time for that don't got time for all those buy orders to go through we're doing what we can found the silver we're gonna do logan logan's the man logan's getting through this this one for us but yeah logan 180 yeah he should better get him being a silver it's not even it's not even gonna take up all his uh hard to get this done it's nice um one 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 Wait, only 32 of them that's nice 32 of them for that one and then this one should be even fast or even less one 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 21 of him gets that one done next up Let's see what we got. The NOS, the final one for exchanges at least. NOS, uh, we're, we're always gonna check our 74s and stuff first because we got some, right? And 73s, don't mind if I do. Got a couple 72s if we got a bunch of them. NOS got a lot of 72s. All right, should be able to finish with the 72, 71s. There it is. We got that one done and now we'll just focus on silvers. Now we'll just focus on the silvers. So we got eight of those. Um, done with that one. Okay, two more. Number two on this one. And we're gonna go over here. Two, um, six. Not doing, I'm not doing gold. Absolutely not. Um, and four. Okay. I know we have more silvers somewhere. Two more at least. One, probably Blackman. One, done. One, 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 done. Okay, last but not least. This is always the hardest division because it's like the least amount of cards that I have. It's always like the least amount of cards that I actually own. It's actually crazy. But we'll start here. Some of these silvers out of the way. Clean our binder a little bit. And we should get pretty close with some of these. One. Oh, that's, see, we missed one. Look at that. That definitely, that helped us out a lot right there. Six. Done. All right. So all exchanges are done. We are at 37% done with Team Affinity. And we're going to be moving on soon on what you guys should do next. So let's go ahead and get into that. All right. So after exchanges, we did all the exchanges. Like I said, we are going to go do the AL showdown. That's going to give us 60,000 points for all AL divisions for Team Affinity. So let's go ahead, start this draft, and we'll go through each game as we get there. I don't even know who we're facing. I honestly forgot to look. I'm an idiot, but here we go. Rafael Palmero will definitely take you. Ooh, uh, Joey Gallo take you as well. And we're going to go ahead and take Eddie Murray just because, you know, switch hitter. And, ooh, 95. Cutter Crawford's pretty good. I like Cutter Crawford. So we're going to go ahead and go with him. Uh, Jonah Himes, probably pretty good. We'll go with Jonah Himes. Switch hitter cannot go wrong with that. Randy Johnson, Roy Holiday, or Nolan Ryan. Mm, I think I hit better with Nolan Ryan, I think. Probably not. And probably Jordan. Jordan's probably the move there. Juan Soto's the move there for me. And we'll do rally time. Come on, give us hero time. Hero time, there you go. They gave it to us. So make sure we equip those perks. Make sure you guys are equipping your perks. Go to Man and Squad. Make sure all your players are in your lineup. You don't need a fielding, so put them anywhere that replaces a worse player, and then just make your lineup. I, I still, to this day, even if I'm facing all, a lefty, I'll just still mix up my lineup anyways. Keep it fresh, keep it ready, keep it moving. And let's go ahead and get into the first one. First one says we're trailing by six runs. But we are on veteran difficulty, and we have 28 out. So it looks like these are going to be some long showdowns. You probably won't see the entire showdown. You will probably see bits and pieces of it near the end, because that is... I'm not getting caught. Oh, 
but let's just uh take in the fact i haven't gotten out yet but here comes an out just because i said that i mean i can't be patient on that All right, here we are. One run away. One run away. 23 outs remaining to get one more run here in the first showdown. And there it is. Oppo Taco for Mike Napoli. And the first of six of the showdown challenges is complete let's go ahead go collect our reward our new player and a perk and go ahead and hop in to the next one and there it is joey gallo goes to deep right field and a showdown challenge number two is complete. All right, challenge number three. Enter the game trailing by one run and take the lead be re before recording 14 outs. All right, one out run away, 14 outs remaining from completing showdown challenge number three. And there you go. Two at bats, two home runs, challenge number three complete. Challenge number four, enter the game trailing by six runs with the bases loaded and take the lead before recording 18 outs. Oh, baby. There goes his confidence. And there it is. Perfect, perfect. Down the line and gone. And a showdown. Challenge number four. Four is complete challenge number five enter the game trailing by seven runs with runners on the corners and take the lead before recording 23 outs eddie murray four on the board four more there it is sean green deep right field and showdown challenge number five complete one more to go. Final showdown against Andrew Miller. Take the lead before recording at 18 outs. Get it. And there it is. George Springer ends it for us. The American League showdown is now complete. And there you have it. A bunch of stuff unlocked. 60,000 XP for TA. Let's go ahead and go take a look at our team affinity progress for the American League now that we have completed the first showdown. There is a, one more showdown that we must complete, and that will be the NL showdown. But let's go ahead and take a look. 67% of team affinity is done in less than an hour of it being out. So that's pretty good right there. So definitely going to take that 67% done. Now we got to do the NL showdown and then 67% of that will also be done. So roughly if you average it out, we have, we're probably about halfway done right now. And then once we finish the NL showdown, it will be 67% done with the whole entire thing. So let's go ahead and let's get into it. All right, time for the NL showdown. First up is Jenkins. We are entering the game trailing by 10 runs with runners on the corners, and we must take the lead before recording 27 outs. Let's get into it. And Willie Mays ends showdown number one with a no doubter to deep left field. Showdown one for the National League is a success on to number two showdown number two enter the game trailing by three runs with a runner on second and take the lead before recording 16 outs let's get into it and there she goes jacob de grom the oppo taco off kreg kimbrel and showdown number two is a success.
All right, showdown round three. Enter the game trailing by five runs and take the lead before recording 20 outs. All right, Richie. Two runs away, runner on second. And Richie Saxon ends up. Showdown. Part number three is a success. All right, part number five, take on Eric Gagne. Enter the game tied and take the lead before recording 13 outs. There it is, a first at bat. Showdown part number five is complete and we are going on to the final showdown for the national league uh, let's go all right facing out lighter take the lead before recording at 30 outs we need six in the, this final showdown uh, against Al lighter let's get it Saxon ends it and the nl showdown is complete we are now 67% done with Team Infinity, just a little over an hour after it came out. Let's go ahead and take a look at our Team Infinity progress and what we're gonna do next to finish Team Infinity Season 3, Chapter 2. So we are 67% done. Now we can do some moments. If we do the moment, we would need 16 total bases for 10,000 TA points. Now, do I really want to do this? For 10,000 TA points, it's only 10,000. So maybe maybe we don't even worry about the moments. And we go straight in to uh, the mission. Because I feel, I feel like the missions is where it's going to be at. I mean, look at this. Look at this. 50 runs with the Orioles gives us 50,000 TA points. We're literally pretty much done if we do that. And then if we get 100 total bases, that also gets 50,000. So I think total bases and or runs is what we're going to do for each one of these like good teams, like Red Sox, um, Yankees. We'll use like the better teams for that division, and we're going to be tackling total bases and runs with those teams. Now, I probably... Honestly, it won't show you do, us doing that. I will show you guys how we set it up for each team. Other than that, I will not be actually streaming that because that's that's more or less very grindy. Um, if you guys watch the live stream, you'll see it. But in the video, I mean, it's just play versus CPU, rookie difficulty, max elevated stadium, and you're pretty much good to go. You, if you go away, you can go towards field, and you don't even have to pitch. You can literally just see how much of this you can get done in the first inning, do that, and then quit. So we'll probably sample size like the first inning or so, do that, and then quit. Because pitching, you're literally wasting time if you're pitching. 25 strikeouts, obviously, you could do that fairly easy, but it's going to be easier to get 50 runs and 100 total bases than it is 25 strikeouts and get on base you also get 10,000 ta points for that so fairly easy way to grind this and that's what we're going to do so let's go ahead and go set up our team for that so it does not say first of all does it say it has to be with certain players let's go ahead and check that out um it does not so it can be with season one players it will still count so that makes it even better guys we're gonna go over to manage squad and we're gonna set our squad up we have our ta squad right here but we need some new players so let's go ahead and let's do like the boston red sox or the yankees they're gonna have the best players roughly so let's go ahead and just set up a bunch of that a bunch of those players are on our squad we got andrew benatendi we got Wade Boggs over here. We have Devers. And then we have David Ortiz. Now, let's set up a couple more. We got Nick Sogard, Roman Anthony, Braden Montgomery. Cutter Crawford's a good one, so we'll use him at short. We got a right fielder. We got a center fielder. Oops, not mean to do that. 
And then we got a second baseman. So now we just need a catcher, to be honest with you. So let's go ahead. We got, oh, looks like we got one right there. Now, pitching-wise, we're not really going to be pitching, but it's, if there is a starting pitcher that we could use for the Red Sox, there is not. Um, but we could also maybe get some other guys. I don't know. Yankees, there's just CC Sabathia. Orioles, nothing for the Orioles. Rays, nothing for the Rays. Blue Jays, nothing for the Blue Jays that, that we're going to use. So. We're not even going to worry about pitching because we don't care. So, with that being said, we're going to go open up the rest of our NL pack and get those guys. Oh, we have also have AL Central. So, we actually get some more of these guys. So, we could choose the starting pitchers who we want to choose, to be honest with you. There is no more starting pitchers. So, in that case, we will choose somebody from a good team. Cleveland Guardians, Detroit, which probably Justin, yeah. Probably Justin. So when we get to that team, we'll probably use the twins out of those players. So AL Central again this time. Um, maybe the White Sox. I'm thinking White Sox here. Gregory Soto. No, we already have Gregory Soto. So Eddie Murray. Yeah, Eddie Murray on that one. Doesn't really matter. AL East. So we said Boston, Mike Napoli, he can now be our catcher. So that will definitely help out there. So he'll be our actual catcher. That'll give us a better catcher. And then AL East once again. Is there a starting pitcher we can use? Yes, there is. There's Matt Moore. So he can be in our rotation. Just uh, have him there just in case. Gets his mission done, and that'll give us some points if we really want to. AL West, I'm thinking the team that we want to use, right? The team that we're going to be grinding those total bases with. So in this case, probably the Texas Rangers or the Astros. I'm going to go Joey Gallo here uh, for that reason. And then we'll probably get the starting pitcher if we have another one, in which we do. So this time it's going to be James. Oh, no. Already have him. Woo! That was bad. Almost had to submit, submit a ticket. We already have James Paxton. So in this case... George Springer, be careful of selecting duplicates because then you have to submit a ticket to SDS and wait for them to fix it. So, next one Brewers, Reds, Cubs, Cardinals, or Pittsburgh Pirates. This one's kind of hard, obviously. Um, I don't know which one I'm going to be running with for the best team. Probably, I might go Cardinals, to be honest with you. Let's go Cardinals for that one. And then we probably get one more pick. So, we're going to go, I think, Richie Sexton for the next one. We already had the starting pitcher, so there's no reason to go with a, a duplicate, right? So Anthony Rendon's probably a pretty good one. Chase Utley with the Phillies is probably the best one here. Or Christian Yelich, Miami Marlins, though. Um, Yeah, we'll go Chase Utley for the Phillies for that one because that's the team we'll be rocking with when we do the total bases and or runs missions. And then for this next one, Anthony Rendon is going to be a pick there just in case and finally we get the last one giants padres rockies dodgers now we are probably going to be using the dodgers for this so we're going to use i mean i'm going to get eric gagne first anyways but for the other hitter we're probably just going to be using mike cameron i would think padres yeah We'll go Padres on that one. So we got all those players so far. We got an out of the pack base round player. Don't even know who's in this, but we'll take it. Paul O'Neill, Troy Percival. Um, doesn't really matter. We'll just take that one right there. We have all the packs saved for the end when we actually complete Team Affinity. But there you have it. So our lineup is set. We're going to be rocking with the Boston Red Sox first. I'm going to go ahead and complete this. And we'll see you guys once we do complete the Boston Red Sox. And then I'll show you the next team that we put together uh, very shortly here. Okay. So I'll see you guys once we finish the Boston Red Sox. All right. As you guys can see, we have 13 runs in the top of the first here. And I just want to showcase this is once we get this third out, here in the top of the first what we're going to do is we are going to quit there's no reason to pitch we're after total bases and we're after runs so once we get that 
there is no reason to pitch. It's faster to quit out. The stats still count and just start up a new one and start hitting again. So that's basically what you guys want to do every single time that you guys are doing this. You're going to hit the baseball. Once you get those three outs in the first, you're going to quit out and start over again. Don't be discouraged if you don't do well a couple times or first few times or it takes you longer. It's still going to be the fa faster than actually pitching. Make sure you guys are quitting out after you hit in the top of the first. And that's why I don't like playing at home in a trade the stadium. I'd rather just get in the game, hit the baseball, quit out, and repeat. And that's pretty much what we're going to be doing every single time. And we are doing really well. The first two or three runs, we didn't get a lot of total bases. But here with 15 runs, we're definitely going to get a decent amount of total bases. Every home run's worth four. And I'm pretty sure we've hit at least like eight homers. So that's 32 total bases out of the 100 that we need for the Boston Red Sox. All right, so we got to our third out. So now we're going to confirm the quit. And we're going to be looking at our progress for the Boston Red Sox right here on this next screen. So press RB. And we're going to be looking that we see our total bases 82 out of 100. We got 47 total bases that game, including 15 runs. We're also working on the PXP with L A L E bosses. So that definitely helps us out with Mike Napoli. So that's going to help us out and some other program stuff right there. So it looks like we have maybe we can do this in one more game and we'll be done with AL East. That's pretty much the only gameplay part you're probably going to see of this. However, I will be showing you guys my other teams that I'm going to be rocking for each division that I'm doing. So stay tuned for that. Otherwise, you guys will only be seeing pretty much once we complete Team Affinity. You'll see the results and stuff besides the other team. So we're almost to the finish line for Team Affinity Season 3, Chapter 2. All right, so AL East Season 3, Chapter 2, Team Affinity is complete 100%. So moving on to the next squad. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. Mets, Phillies, Washington, Braves, or Nationals. We said we were going to go with the Phillies for that one. So let's go ahead and go make the squad for the Philadelphia Phillies. So our Phillies, Chase Utley, Trey Turner, Nick Castellanos, Jimmy Rollins, Alec Bohm, Mike Smith, Kyle Swarber, Weston Wilson, and JT Romuto. All right. So the NL East Season 3, Chapter 2, Team Affinity is complete. We did it with 34 runs, 100 total bases with the Phillies. Now, moving on to the next squad, we might as well go to that. We said AL Central. We got White Sox, Cleveland, Detroit, Kansas City, and the Twins. I'm pretty sure we chose the Twins. So we're going to go ahead and go over to our squad and fill our lineup. With the Minnesota Twins. For the Twins, we got Justin Renault, Brian Dozier, Byron Buxton, Joe Maurer, Carlos Correa, Jorge Polanco, Harlem Killebrew, Tony Oliva, and Ryan Jeffers. All right, so the AL Central Season 3, Chapter 2, Team Affinity is 100%. So now we're going to go take a look at what the next division that we need to conquer. And we're gonna just gonna go down the list. So now we got either the Reds, the Cubs, the Brewers, the Pirates, or the Cardinals. I think I chose the Cardinals on this one. So we're gonna go ahead and build a team with the Cardinals for this next team affinity mission. All right, for the Cardinals, we have Mark McGuire, Matt Carpenter, Ryan Ludwig, Stan Musio. Orlando Cepeda, J.J. Weatherholt, Tommy Pham, Lou Brock, and Thomas. We are now done with the NL Central Season 3, Chapter 2, Team Affinity. And now we are done with four of the six divisions for Team Affinity in just three hours since the launch of Team Affinity Season 3, Chapter 2. So let's go take a look. We have the AL West and the NL West left over. So Astros, Angels, A's, Seattle, or the Texas Rangers. We chose the Texas Rangers for our next team that we are going to be participating with. 
So let's go ahead and get our team filled with Texas Rangers on the squad. So our team, Joey Gallo, Adrian Beltre, Michael Young, Wyatt Lankford, Mitch Garver, Adoles Garcia, Alfonso Soriano, Marcus Simeon, and Ian Kinsler. All right, we are done with the AL West Season 3, Chapter 2, Team Affinity, leaving one more division left, and that is the NL West. With the NL West, we already know we are going to go with the Dodgers, so let's go ahead and build that team for you guys for the last game of Team Affinity in Season 3, Chapter 2. We have Jackie Robinson, Cody Bellinger, Mookie Betts, Shohei Otani, Teoscar Hernandez, Duke Snyder, Justin Turner, Kinley Jansen, and Gary Sheffield. So we have officially completed Team Affinity. We just got done with the Dodgers total bases, and we are now done with Team Affinity. So a little recap of how we did this. What do we do to do this? Well, we conquered the player exchanges if you guys don't know i always save up for exchanges so i buy 73 or 74 overalls for quick sell value of 25 stubs or a little bit more anywhere from 25 to 30 stubs is what i'm looking for for those players so we did all those exchanges by getting those players i'm still getting some of those cards we'll just use them for the next team affinity next up we did this showdown there's two showdowns there's an american league showdown which counts for all three divisions. So you will get 60,000 TA points for three divisions, the AL West, AL Central, and AL East. And then you will get three more from the A or the NL showdown. So the NL West, the NL Central, and the NL East, you'll get 60,000 XP for each one of those. So after the exchanges, you got 30, 50, 65, 75. You have 75,000 XP after the exchanges. And then finally, after the showdown, 75 plus 60, you have 135,000 XP. Once you guys have that, you will go into a mission. So you can pick one of these. I always I picked the all, the teams I picked were the Red Sox for this one. Let's go ahead and look at it. We picked the Red Sox, then we picked the Phillies, and then we picked the Twins, and then we picked the Cardinals, and then we picked the Rangers, and then finally the Dodgers. And with that, we did the total bases along with that mission. So you need 100 total bases and you get 50,000 XP. We did that, and then we were done with Team Affinity. So that's all that we did. Now, with that being said, we do have some packs to open. So let's go ahead and open these packs. If we get any diamonds, you guys will see them. We did Team Affinity in roughly around four hours, just a little over four hours, and Team Affinity was done. So let's open up these packs for the remainder of this video. Let's see if we pull any diamonds. If we do, you guys will see them. If we don't, it's going to be a very short pack opening, and it could be ending right now. And our first diamond pull, like four or five packs in. It is a purple, but it is going to be our first diamond pull. Logan Gilbert, 87 overall. At least it wasn't an 85. Yeah, it's a new program or a new team affinity. Our second diamond of this pack opening for Team Affinity. And we get a blue Fernando Tatis. 90 overall. We'll definitely, definitely take that. 17K. I'm just going to put him up right now for 17,000. Thank you very much. Next up, 20 packs remaining. Can we get lucky again? And we do. Our third diamond of the video. Another purple, but three diamonds is a W. This time we get Diaz, 85 overall in this one. Not the best, but we'll take it. Another diamond, diamond number four, I believe. Another purple, please not be an 85. Zach Wheeler, 88, we'll take that. That's 5,500 stubs into the bank. Another diamond, diamond number five. Another purple, but we'll take it. And this diamond is Byron Buxton, 85 overall. We'll take that. Another diamond. Diamond number six is an, uh, another purple. 
Dylan sees. At least we're not getting duplicates either, which is kind of nice. Not the same 85 overall every single time. If it is an 85, diamond number seven. Uh, another purple. Imagine we get a green one one time. Steven Kwan, 86 overall. Go ahead and quick sell him. Probably, probably maybe should have kept him. Who knows? Could go up in a roster update. And we got 12. I mean, 14 millionaire pack. Don't know if we'll get anything from these. Hey, diamond number seven, I think. Or maybe eight. This time, a headliner pack. Still another purple. That's going to be Teoscar Hernandez. We'll take that. Another diamond. Back to back diamonds. We're going to take that as well. Gunner Henderson, 87 overall there. So far, it looks like eight or nine diamonds. And that's going to end the video. So around eight diamonds, nothing crazy from those diamonds at all. As far as collections, we are 37 of 40. We need Paul O'Neill. He's going to be a pretty expensive right now. We need Brooks Rayleigh. I honestly thought we had this card, to be honest with you. I really did think that we had this card. Thought we had him. Let's go ahead and I'm just going to buy him, to be honest. I'm going to buy him. And we also need some of these guys right here. So, like, there's David Wright for 50K, 200K. Collections, Mike Trout. We can't get him. 40K. Camilla Duvall is probably one of the cheaper ones. So, we'll just go ahead and buy him real quick. And then Paul O'Neill's 96. So need one more. 58. Soriano, 50. Robbie, 40. He's probably the cheapest. Or John Franco. Yeah, John Franco's the cheapest. Let's go with John Franco. Thank you very much. We'll just buy it. We'll just buy him. And there you go. Let's go ahead and complete this collection. And we get 99 overall, Mike Trout, just like that. Team Affinity done, season collection done. And well, not really season collection because we got all these cards right here. So we can just go ahead, add those. We get our boss player pack, our first one of the season. So there's that going on for us as well. And for this, I think I already know who I was going to choose. Randy Johnson. It's going to be my first pick from here. So we'll go ahead and choose Randy Johnson. And there you have it. Mike Trout. I know we didn't like discover him. I was going to see who did discover him. And then we'll end the video. Goat discovered him. Goat. I don't know. Stupid buy orders in my way. Goat nice discovered Mike Trout. So he's the first player to pretty much unlock Michael Nelson Trout. But anyways, if you guys did enjoy this video, it helped help you out complete Team Affinity the best and fastest way possible. Be sure you guys like and subscribe. Turn notifications on. Leave a comment down below. Say something nice. I appreciate it. If you say something mean, it is what it is. But I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.